Great, now I have a Tesla and I get an insurance score and the better I drive, the less I pay. But the more I'm in self-driving, usually the better the score is because it doesn't tend to like do rolling stops at stop signs like I do. Right. Do you see it basically being like, it's just so cheap to let it drive for you. And then if you try to manually take over, you start paying more in insurance and then people like let go of the steering wheel altogether. And then this becomes something where Tesla becomes more of a UPS or a FedEx kind of moving packages around when your car is not there. Like what is it all, how does this all play out? I like where you're thinking. So there's, I don't know, just arbitrarily a couple of million people who own Teslas in the United States that those are all available, number one, to have full self-driving such as it is turned on right now. And you know, it's not yet, you still have to intervene sometimes, but it's getting it's getting pretty good. Let's just say magic wand in a year, they actually are good enough that they will enable you to have full self-driving that you don't have to pay attention to anymore. So level one consequence of that is, I have a 20 minute commute to work, and maybe you do. So that's 20 minutes I now recapture that I could either be sleeping, watching stupid YouTube videos, videos, getting work done, answering emails. That's just 20 minutes of my, well, actually 40 minutes because it's both directions. So that's a big chunk of my life that I get back that I'm not just sitting and staring out at a road. So that's a level one consequence. A level two consequence is exactly what you're saying. Let's say that now I say like, yes, Tesla, you guys can use this in your fleet while I'm not driving it because most of the day it's either in my driveway or at work. So yeah, either one of those things, you can use the car while I'm not driving it and you guys can make money and I can make money. That's a great consequence of that if that works and so that's a level two consequence and that's how tesla could scale really quickly instead of having to build dedicated cars they got teslas all over the us right now and of course the world itself too and could actually make you as an owner some money as well and then level three is beyond that you can have an optimus robot a humanoid robot say in the passenger or back seat of the car put a bunch of packages in there for ups or fedex or something and then you drive up to the house the robot gets out picks up the package puts it on your door so you know that's a third level consequence oh my god you're right 